What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Luigi back at it again with a brand new sneaker review and today we have another part to the series fresh kicks for under $100 you guys are unfamiliar with the series it's pretty much a series where I go and I try to find the best sneaker for under $100 whether it be in my local stores whether it be online whatever the case may be I go and I try to find the best sneaker for under a hundred dollars for you guys but real quick if it's your first time checking out one of my videos make sure you guys hit that subscribe button it would be really much appreciated also hit that like button if you guys did enjoy the video trust me it does go a long way the more likes this video gets the more that youtube recommends it the more that youtube recommends it the better chance we have of the channel growing so if you do want to support the channel hit that like button we would really really very much appreciate it also click that little bell stay notified because we do drop videos every single week also you guys can catch me on my Instagram at underscore Luigi if you guys want to stay updated on all my behind the scenes content, sneaker content, clothing content, or if you guys just want to message me to chop it up. My messages are always open to you guys, but enough about that. Let's get into the review. Today's sneaker review is going to be on another pair of Vans. Now, I'm no stranger to Vans. I've covered so many Vans sneakers in my YouTube channel careers. I've covered everything from Vans Authentics, from Vans old schools from Vans slip-ons to Vans skate highs so pretty much the point that I'm trying to make is I'm no stranger to Vans this is definitely not my first pair by the way if you guys do love Vans sneakers if that's all you wear or if that's all you watch just Vans sneaker reviews make sure you guys check out a couple of my other Vans sneaker reviews that I've been on either whether it be the skate high the old school or the slip-on links to those videos will be up top and also down below so if you guys are a big fan of anything van sneaker related the links to those videos will be up top and also down below just gonna be a quick little review for you guys just something just to add into the sneaker review and just a really great affordable option I paid six dollars for these it's not really breaking the bank and it's always a good day whenever you can get a great sneaker for under a hundred dollars but enough about that let's get to the review first thing that we're gonna be talking about is obviously the box nothing too crazy your standard regular vans box if you guys have owned a pair of vans you guys have seen vans if anything in general with the whole brand of vans it's just a regular box and didn't do anything too crazy with it just vans print all over it i know you guys don't care about the box so the vans slip on in the checkerboard colorway now very simple sneaker nothing too crazy nothing about it. it's gonna be like wow oh my god no hype behind it just a regular classic sneaker that's just really never kind of gonna go out of style and i get you know for the checkerboard pattern it's not really for everybody it is very loud but overall just really simple sneaker nothing too crazy about it but let's dive into the review first thing that we're gonna talk about is obviously the most obvious thing is gonna be the pattern of the sneaker I guess the colorway I guess we could say of the sneaker the whole pretty much the main standout thing about the sneakers is uh, this checkerboard pattern and the reason why I kind of like about the checkerboard pattern is just because it's just it's different you get me it's just a different type of vibe for a sneaker it's just a really dope concept in my opinion I really do like the pattern it's just kind of like in a creamish you have black right there a white midsole predominantly the sneaker is just made of cream white and black nothing too crazy going into the side of the sneaker you do have some more vans branding right here on the side of the sneaker and the sneaker is actually made of one whole entire material so pretty much the whole entire sneaker is just made of like this really like elastic just really just one whole entire like upper piece so on the side of the sneaker you do have some more hits of like this cream kind of off whitish does look kind of like beige like on camera but trust me it's kind of like an off white color and it's just nothing too crazy just on one side right here you do have the vans logo on the other side it's just pretty much plain to the back on the heel tab right here you do have some more vans branding right Right here it does say vans off the wall and this little red hit right here on top of the back by where the heel tab is and above that on the vans logo you do have some more checkerboard pattern right here so the only hits of checkerboard that you really do have is right here i guess you can kind of call this the tongue even though it's kind of just one whole entire upper and on the back of the heel tab nowhere else you have any more checkerboard pattern so even though it is kind of loud it is kind of subtle with the placement of the pattern as well on the sneaker uh, as far as midsole goes it's just your standard regular vans white midsole they didn't do anything too crazy with it um only I guess a little small detail that you can kind of I guess add into the mix is like this whole like black rubber right here mixing in with like this white rubber going all around the sneaker on the front through the lateral through the medial and through the back by the where the heel tab is but other than that nothing really too crazy no crazy aesthetics to the sneaker I feel like this is just something that if you really want you can get last but not least we have the iconic Vans gum sole. Now, one good thing about Vans and one thing that I would never get tired of, 
I've owned so many pairs of Vans, but I would never get tired of like this gum outsole. It's such an iconic thing about Vans. You know, it, to me, like if you ask me to think about Vans, the number one thing that I always think of is the gum outsole. As far as sizing goes on the Vans slip on, I did go my true to size. I am a seven and a half, so I did go true to size. My recommendation would be to go true to size. Back into the sneaker just one more time. Like I said, this is just gonna be a quick little review because there's not really much I can say about just a simple like slip on sneaker. Like one good thing I do like about it is it's definitely very affordable. I picked this up from my regular Vans um, local store and I only paid $60 for these. So, you know, if you're someone like me who's always budgeting and always trying to get sneakers under $100, cause let's be real, you know, it, sneakers, get very expensive especially in this day and age simple sneaker just goes with any outfit these look good with shorts these look good with jeans these look good with zipper pants pretty much everything that I pretty much wear so if you're someone who wears jeans if you're someone who wears zipper pants these are definitely the sneaker for you it's gonna be pretty much it for my quick little review on the Vans checkerboard slip-ons like I said it's just a very simple sneaker nothing too crazy but definitely an essential and I'm definitely gonna beat these things up a lot but that's gonna be pretty much it I'm gonna throw these on feet to show you guys how I style these and that will be the end of the video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, especially if it's your first time checking out one of my videos. It really does go a long way. Hit that like button. It would be really much appreciated. Also, click that little bell. Stay notified because we do drop videos every single week. Also, follow the cameraman on his Instagram at Leon underscore Kev. You guys appreciate all the on-feed shots, all the dope photos. Kevin is responsible for them. So, if you guys give the cameraman a follow on his Instagram, I would really much appreciate that. Also, catch me on my Instagram at underscore Louis G. If you guys just want to message me to chop it up, my messages are always open. That's going to be pretty much it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you guys next time. Peace.